Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life, and here's just a quick one regarding some prints I did at some absurd resolutions. Uh, okay, well one wasn't too absurd, but the other was. Um, this one was done at about 0.1 millimeter layer resolution. I rarely print this fine. I usually go to about 0.25. As you can see, it looks fantastic. It is. Wait, let me make sure. That, yeah, this is the right one. Um, it's stellar quality. I wish I had like a, a SLR camera to take some really good close-ups of it. Um, I do at home, but not here. But yeah, the quality is in just, I, I can't even describe it because it's so nice. Um, this film, it's a little bit rough on the outside, it's just the way that it prints. Uh, I probably should have done it in a different film and probably a different color so that you could see a little better. But regardless, it came out really nice. Definitely a good little print. Um, there's some little lines up top just from some like random layer separation. Um, again, it has to do with the film and not really the printer, but whatever, it still came out really good. Now, the next one was done at 40 micron layers. That's 0.4 millimeters. Um, honestly, it's so fine that it's gotten to the point where it started to degrade the quality. Um, simply because it's laying down layers that are so incredibly thin that any little overhang, there's just not enough material coming out to fill in that gap. So it actually does cause some problems. Um, as you can see, not terrible. This is with the fan on my 3 out. Um, and the parts that really shine are like curved surfaces, like up here. I mean, that it looks like it was injection molded. There's like... I, I, yeah, blah, blah. it's crazy. Um... But, <laughs> to give you some perspective, these two prints, um, same size, that one took two and a half hours, this one took one and a half hours. Uh, the reason that the gap isn't huge is because you can combine infill layers using slicer. So this one did five perimeters before doing infill layers, and this one did three. Um, they both had three perimeters, uh, so three shells, um, and same infill, just different layer heights and the different um, combined infill layers. But yeah, so I mean they both came out pretty good. Um, of course this camera is not the best for showing off <laughs> really fine quality prints like this, but well, whatever. Uh, got what you got. And it's not going to focus. Focus. Oh. oh well. You get the point. Um, so anyway, the point of this video is to say that higher resolution is not always better. Um, and if you really want to wait two and a half hours for a print this big, be my guest. Um, an hour and a half is still ridiculous. Uh, printing at 0.25 millimeter layers, which is what I would normally do, this would be less than like 40 minutes, probably even half an hour. But whatever, it was a fun little experiment to do. Um, and it's good to know that it can print at lower layers as low as four, uh, 0.4 millimeters, which it, or 0.04 millimeters. Oh, 0.4. Now I'm forgetting. Whatever. 40 microns, that's the one. Um, 0.04. So yeah, um, which is Ultimaker 2 territory, which is pretty cool. Um, but still not really um, <laughs> worth it time-wise and quality-wise, uh, unless you have like a really simple piece and you don't mind waiting hours for it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any uh, requests for any random prints, quality tests, things like that, uh, let me know. I'll try to get them in. Uh, but until then, I will catch you all later.